my name is William Close, and this is the Earth Harp behind me. It's one of the uh, instruments that I've invented. I went to art school, uh, the Art Institute in Chicago, and uh, there I studied sculpture, sound design, a little bit of architecture, and uh, music composition, and sort of brought all those together and started building uh, wild instruments. I've invented over 100 unique instruments. So a lot of them are uh, string based and um, some drum based, some percussive, some wind. Um, but this is my favorite one behind me, the Earth Harp. The Earth Harp gets its name from the first time I installed it, which uh, I mounted a series of chambers to one side of a valley and ran strings a thousand feet across to the other side. So it turned the, har the, the valley or the earth into a giant harp. Uh, I've taken it all over the world ever since to attach it to many things. Today it's, it's attached actually up to a piece of uh, architecture. And so the building is the instrument. The way the earth harp is played is we wear uh, gloves, with violin rosin on them, and run our hands along the strings. Uh, it's a special string that I have made uh, specific for the instrument. It, uh, it produces a compression wave. It's kind of similar to running your finger on the edge of a wine glass. So when you run your hands along the strings, uh, you know, it's, it's actually creating the tone. That tone then transfers into the chamber of the instrument, basically like the pear shape on a cello, and that vibrates the interior of it, and um, where there are a couple microphones, and that gets amplified. A, a plucked string, like a violin, or a cello, or a guitar, that's a horizontal vibration. Basically, you pluck the string, and the string's going in lots of little circles. As you shorten that string, the circles get smaller. Or if you tighten that string, the circles get smaller. With this instrument, the vibration is in the molecules of the material. So actually, the material itself is vibrating. And so those little circles that I was describing don't exist when you play it this way, by running your hands along the string. The vibration of a pluck string, um, if I pluck one of these, it's so low you can't hear it. The earth harp can adjust to any environment. The strings, uh, I need roughly a 40 foot string at the, at the smallest end. Um, and then I can go up to strings as long as a thousand feet. So a lot of times we'll set up in theaters, mount it to a stage, strings go out of the audience and attach into the balcony, turning the whole theater into the instrument. So the audience is literally sitting inside the instrument. When I create a new instrument, I think about a lot of different ingredients. Uh, one, what I'm hoping I can get the sound to be. Um, two, I want to experiment, try to see if I can create new sounds. And then three, I want it to look really cool. So. Um, the visual side of it is really important as well. And I also want um, people to be inspired by them and think of, you know, think of uh, sort of an inventiveness or a different way of creating music. And that's really my goal with a lot of this stuff.